Now we can look at the discussion we had in the overview of Gauss's law. And if you remember from the overview, Gauss's law says that the flux phi is equal to the surface integral of the electric field vector with the dot product of the differential area vector and that's equal to the charge that's enclosed in that surface area divided by epsilon naught. So this is the point that we have to remember that Q enclosed is the charge and I'm going to put this in bold inside the and we call it a Gaussian shell that's just the shape around the charge now the Gaussian shell can be anything. The Gaussian shell can be any shape. But from the last video we know that the most useful are the sphere and the cylinder. So let's take an example of Gauss's law and let's have a charge, point charge here of some value Q. And we're going to wrap this shell around Q and this is going to be a sphere. So this tells us that the flux is equal to, we'll do a sphere electric field dot differential area is equal to the Q over epsilon naught. And we can take the E dot A and since remember that the electric field comes through the surface and if you remember from geometry this is always perpendicular to the surface no matter which direction you go and the magnitude of the electric field is constant in all directions. And in that case I can take this integral and I can rewrite this and I can say the integral of the magnitude of the electric field times the magnitude of the differential area and the cosine is just going to be zero because remember this is the the uh, angle between the electric field and the area vector and they're sitting on top of each other 
So it's going to be 0 is equal to Q divided by epsilon naught. Now E is a constant, so I can bring E out. We'll just have it as a value here. Cosine of 0 is 1, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to have the integral of the differential area is equal to Q over epsilon naught. And now, what is the area of a sphere, the surface area of a sphere? Well, you can look this up in the book, but that is 4 pi r squared. And now I can solve for E, my electric field strength, and that's just equal to Q inside the shell divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. And this is just Coulomb's law. So we have now proven Coulomb's law based on Gauss's law.